In this lesson, we are going to create a WinCC unified faceplate that is going to utilize a PLC data type for creating a structured tag. In my PLC under the Program Blocks folder, I'm going to open up my FanDB. Inside my FanDB, I have two elements, Fan1 and Fan2, that are of the Fan data type. So if I expand out Fan1, you can see the individual elements. So there's a String value, Boolean value, and integer value for name, start, and speed. I'll go down to my fan data type and open that up. And then you can see the definition of the individual elements for the structured data type. In order to use a structured data type in a faceplate, we need to include the fan data type as an actual type that's managed in the library. So I will select my Libraries tab. I will drag the fan data type into the types folder in my project library. I will accept the default name. Now I will open up my UDT tags table in my HMI. And in the PLC, I will select my fan DB. Just do a single click, so then down in the details view, I can see the individual elements. So I'm going to drag the fan1 element into my UDT tags tag table, and that will create the tag fan underscore db underscore fan1. I will drag fan2 into my UDT tags tag table. In previous lessons, we created the faceplate by putting objects on an actual screen and starting the faceplate creation process from the screen. This time, I'm going to go to my Libraries tab. And under Types, I'm going to right-click and select Add New Type. This will open up the Add New Type dialog. I want to make sure that I'm going to select Faceplate. And then I'm going to give my faceplate a name. And it's going to be called FP underscore PLC data type. I want to make sure that I select the unified panel device type for my faceplate. I'm going to select OK. This opens up the faceplate editor. So I'll close the yellow banner for releasing and discarding changes of our faceplates. I'm going to select the properties tab for the faceplate. And I'm going to go down to size and position and set the height of the faceplate to be 300. The width will be 200. And I'm going to go up to the appearance category for the faceplate and change the background color to a light green. I'm going to select the tag interface tab and create a new tag. It's going to be called fan. And it's going to be of the data type PLC UDT. And I will accept that. Now I have to fill in the data type structure. So I'm just going to select my Libraries tab. And then I do have the fan data type over here. So that's what I'm going to browse for. So I will select fan data type. And select my version and accept. You can see that the PLC data type you know, is in work over here in the project library as well. So I'm going to select visualization. And now I'm going to add in the objects for my faceplate. So I'm going to select my toolbox. The first object that I'm going to bring in is going to be a text object. This is going to be fan name. The next object is going to be a circle for displaying the status of the fan, whether it's running or not. Then I'll put in another text object for a label. It will be status. And I will add in an I.O. field for displaying the speed. And 
I will add in another text object, which will be a label. It's just going to say speed. And I will put in a switch object for turning the fan on or off. I'm going to select all of my objects, align them to the screen, and then evenly space them apart. So I'm going to select the first text object, and I'm going to go down to the text property, select tag, and I'm going to browse for the name element within my fan tag. I'm going to select my circle, go down to the background color, select none, pick tag, browse for the start element. I'm going to minimize my toolbox area. And I'm going to do a range animation on the circle. So I'm going to put in a condition 1. And then the background color, when our start element is 1, I'm going to set that to be green. Bring my toolbox back. Select the I.O. field, go down to the process value, select none, select tag, browse for the speed element. Then I will select my switch object, go down to the switch state, select none, select tag, and browse for the start element. Now I'm going to release the faceplate. In previous lessons, we went to the yellow banner and did the release from the yellow banner. This time I'm going to go into the Libraries tab, select my InWork faceplate, right click on it, and select Release Version. Here's my faceplate name. I will keep delete unused type versions checked and select OK. I'm going to go to my HMI in the project tree and open up my PLC data type screen. I'm going to select my libraries tab because I'm going to bring in two instances of the faceplate that was just created. I will select my FP PLC data type and I will bring in two instances. I will select the first instance, and I'm going to go down to the miscellaneous area and select interface. And then here's the fan connection. So I will select my UDT tag table. I will select the fan underscore db underscore fan1 tag. I will select the second instance of the faceplate. And I will select fan underscore db underscore fan2 tag. And I will select my HMI and start my simulation. I will select my PLC data type screen. I will open up my PLC data block. I 
and we'll go online. And I can look at the two fan one and fan two elements. So I can toggle the status of my fan on or off and change the speed value. So you can toggle fan view on as well. In this lesson, we created a WinCC Unified Faceplate that utilized a structured tag.